Let's take a look at lesson eight, nested loops in maze, section number six. <clears throat> We've got zombies now. Zombie hungry. Get the zombie to the sunflower using the fewest number of blocks possible. And they have repeat loops, which we've been using. And we have only one move forward. I can only use one move forward block. All right, so here I am. I want to get to the sunflower. So I'm going to have to go here and turn and go here and turn and go here. So how many times do I have to go forward? One, two, three. Since I only have one of those, I'm going to have to use my repeat block and go forward three times. Three times, okay. And so that's going to get me here. And then I'm going to turn, I think I said turn right, but I'm facing that way. I have to turn left. And then I have to go forward one, two, three, and then I have to turn left and then I have to go forward one, two, three. And if I turn left, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm going to say, I have to go down this side once, up this side twice, down this side three times. I'm gonna use a nested loop. Oops, they're so clicky. So three sides. What do you think is gonna work? Let's see. Brains. Brains. <laughs> Yummy. I just ate a flower. How spooky. All right, let's go on to number seven. Lesson eight, number seven. Give it a pause and you try it out. Let me know what you come up with. Get the zombie to the sunflower using the fewest blocks possible. Uh, spoiler alert, this looks exactly like the last one we did, but it's just oriented different and has a lot more decorations on the screen. So I have to go one, two, three, turn, one, two, three, turn, one, two, three. All right, if I do that though, I'm facing down, I'm gonna have to turn right. So I need two repeat loops like last time. And in this one, I'm going to go forward three times, like last time. And then I'm going to turn right. So that's one, this is one side. That's how I'm thinking about it. I've got one side. I'm going forward, 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 turn right. I have to do that again and again and again. I have to do it for three sides. Is that what you have? Hope so. Brains. Brains. Munchy, munch, 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 munch. It's so spooky. Okay, lesson eight, nested loops in maze, part eight. Get the zombie to the sunflower using the fewest number of blocks possible. Are we going three turn, three turn, three turn? Let's see. One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn the other way. One, two, three, turn the other way. One, two, three. Well, move forward. I'm going to get that three times. Now here's the crazy thing. You gotta turn, let's see, left after you do that the first time. Then you gotta do this, but then we've gotta turn right. So I think what I'm gonna do, what are you gonna do? Pause it, figure it out yourself, and then press play to see what I do. Okay, so if you press play again, I'm going to click on my repeat. I'm going to press Control C and then I'm going to press Control V and that copied that block. So I'm going to have to go forward again and this time chair and right. And then I'm going to press Control V again. So now let's see, I'm going to go forward one, two, three. That's this. Turn left. One, two, three. That's here. Turn right. One, two, three, that's this, turn left. And then I need to go forward three times again. Okay, so you can do this, but I have another idea. So let me just show you what happens and then I'll go back and see what the feedback is. I have a guess of what the program is going to tell us. There's an exclamation saying I used it too many times. So it'll work, but I think we're not going to have completed the challenge. Brains. 
All right, you did it, but it says find a pattern in your code to take out the extra blocks. You can only use three repeats, and I have one, two, three, four. So do you remember last time where I got the nectar with the B and it turned at the end? It didn't really matter. So if I go forward, left, forward, right, forward, left, forward, right, like if there was a right here, it wouldn't matter. So in other words, this whole part, if I did this all over again, I would turn right at the end, which wouldn't really matter. It's not going to ruin the code. So I'm going to take off this, and I have one repeat left. I'm going to put it all of that inside of here. And so this is going to go forward, left, forward, right, repeat. Forward, left, forward, turn right. So there we go. I got a three repeat loops. And let's click run and see what happens. Is that what you did the first time? Maybe you're faster and better than me. Okay, lesson eight, part nine. Must eat sunflower. Get the zombie zombie to the sunflower using only the blocks available. When run forward to this sunflower. Let's see. I guess we have to do I'm assuming we have to dodge these guys. I kind of want to just try it out and see what happens. If I go forward, forward, turn left, forward, and see what happens. But <clears throat> I know I have to go around them. You can try it. Pause and give it a try. All right. So what are you going to do? Um, you can make sure that you have all your code written. And um, when you unpause it, I'm going to have my solution. Okay, hopefully you've written some code. This is what I came up with. We've got to go forward. One, two, three, four, five, and turn left. One, two, three, four, five, and turn left. One, two, three, four, five, and turn left. So that's these long outside parts. So I made a loop where I went forward five times, turn left, repeat three times. Once I get here, then I have to go one, two, three, turn left, one, two, three. And it wouldn't matter if at the end I turned left, like in the last one. So I did one, two, three, turn left, one, two, three, turn left. So I'm just going to string all of this together. Interesting point here. Oh, there's zeros. No alerts. So I think I'm in good shape. I wonder if he did the same thing. Get all the way to the end, and he chomps it. Lesson eight, section 10. It's a challenge puzzle. Go ahead and give it a shot. Pause your video and try it out. All right, so I made my code and it is running through and we are almost there and we're going to see that. Ta-da! I made a solution. So I'm going to click try again just to show you. If you want, you can pause it, try out my code, put it into yours, um, or maybe you already did it yourself. And then if you really didn't want to do it, you could just click skip puzzle. Okay, here we go. We are on lesson eight, nested loops in maze at section 11. Collect all the nectar from each flower and make honey at the honeycomb. Oh, we're switching it up a little. So we've got to get nectar four times <clears throat> and we've got to get honeycomb four times and we have to go forward one, two, three, four, five times and then another time, six times. So give it a pause. Give it a whirl. What do you come up with? How are you doing? I'll show you where I'm at so far. I know I need to get nectar four times on the flowers. So I have a repeat loop four times, get nectar. And at the end, I know I need to get make honey on the honeycomb four times. So I have two repeat loops. Keep on going. You're doing great. Don't forget to pause while you're coding. Don't just watch me. All right. So what I was thinking about is I've got five flowers that I have to get. I can either... Um, put the move forward right before here so I could put the move forward uh, up inside there because I have to go move forward get nectar move forward get nectar move forward get nectar move forward get nectar and then at the end I would have to go move forward before I get the honey four times um whoops I wouldn't actually put the forward there I would put the forward there uh so I would go forward get the nectar four times go forward get the nectar four times or 
uh, the other thing I could do is say I'm going to move forward and then after I get the nectar four times I'm going to move forward again and come all the way through here so it's either like you have to put the forward before or after I'm going to put it go forward and then I'm going to get the nectar four times go forward get the nectar four times just I'm going to do it this way so at the very end of this fifth this repeated five time loop it goes get nectar four times move forward so then I'm already forward to get the honey so uh, you could do it either way both ways would work both ways uses the same number of blocks and you could just have to choose what you like Lesson 8, Part 12, Nested Loops, Make All the Honey. Go ahead and give it a pause and um, see what you come up with. So we've got to go forward. One, two, three, four, five. Turn which way? Left. One, two, three, four, five. And it won't matter if we turn left at the end. Go ahead and make your code and then you can pl press play to see the answer. How did you do? I usually am talking you through how I'm thinking through my code. I just kind of take a look and say it all out loud. And then as I'm doing that, I can kind of hear a pattern and that helps me decide on my code. So hopefully you got an answer that worked as well. All right, lesson eight, nested loops in maze. We're gonna end with a quiz. Look closely at the code below. How much honey will the bee make when you click run? A4, B8, C12. Take a look at the code. It says repeat two times, repeat two times, move forward, make honey, turn left, repeat two times, make forward, make honey, turn right. Um, so <clears throat> take a guess at what you think your answer is. And then when you come back, you will be able to click run and know your answer for sure. So we go forward, make honey once, twice, third time, fourth time, and we have to double that eight. Click run and you should be able to find out the same exact thing. Okay, so interesting here. This code says eight, but if you just looked at the picture, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we, in order to finish this whole entire maze, you would have had to turn right and left and do this a whole other time. So uh, they didn't have enough code to go through the whole path. That's why it's important that you just read your code. All right, so great job in lesson eight with nested loops and maze. I'm not going to go on here. And um, if you have questions, don't forget to reach out. I hope you're doing great.